What's going on YouTube, Feza family. So, increased support from Drake has been a known thing in the UK over the last couple of years. Especially with artists like Dave, Skepta, Giggs, especially getting on tune. And other rappers he looks out for would share a picture or two or support their song. Now, of course, he remixed Dave's song, Wanna Know, a while ago. And a lot of people from that were saying that he's using the UK and he's being a culture vulture. And other people were saying he's just supporting a young artist coming up. Now, Wiley was one of the people that sort of called him a culture vulture. And Drake responded to this. It is what it is. I've, I see it a lot. And I'll never understand how, like, supporting somebody's song or even going a step further, giving somebody a song or linking yeah. up. I'll never understand how that's not viewed as, like, something admirable, but mm -hmm. I guess people have their own outlook on it. <laughs> this is something I wanted to get off my chest. Yeah, I, I, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I um, just had to talk about it because it's bothering me. Yeah. But, yeah, I didn't like that. <clears throat> and it was Wiley that said that. You know what I'm saying? I'll just say his name because I felt like that was some goofy shit. But, yeah, I just didn't like that. Like, what are you talking about? Like, bro, mm -hmm. these are guys that, are like, they, they, they have tunes that are ringing off. What are you talking about? That's goofy shit. Like, I just had to get that off my chest. Like, sh listen, bumper all. Ain't got no sense in my pants. Sense, 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 sense. You know, bro. You, you probably, oh, mate. Another thing, the song that Wiley was referencing there, it was alleged that he stole off XXX Tentacion, who had the song Look At Me, and Drake brought out a song with UK artist Gigs that had a very similar sound to it. And XXX Tentacion has talked about this as well. You gotta listen to this shit. So he plays this shit. I hear da 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 my dad. I'm like, what the fuck? As soon as it started, like I knew, I knew he was getting that. And the funny thing is, we didn't discover it. The fan, like you said, the fans, because the, they're they're so cold. Like it's like, I got a piece of the internet. You feel me? So they were saying that Drake was biting your style. <sighs> That's what the fans were saying. Yeah. Uh, flow, hell yeah, bro. You could you could take his verse. Like they did a mashup. They put his verse on my song, and they the cadence. Is literally just at the same tempo. You, it, it's not offbeat at all. So this was sort of give Drake the reputation from them that he's sort of stealing stuff rather than actually showing genuine love to the UK. Like, are his true intentions to actually support the artist or just get on the new sound and what's hot on the new style to stay at the top? Joe Budden also weighed in on this as well and said that Drake's smart for planting seeds in other countries and keeping his name alive. And in that, Guess what's happening? You guessed it. Drake is on the hottest London up and coming songs. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, 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 no. See, I don't know. Is it me? Why y'all just did that? I'm not why surprised because I'm not surprised. Time out. Yeah, All right, so let me, so let me give you some more context. Okay. When I say he's on the hottest London song, mm -hmm. I don't mean he's on the whatever the biggest song in London is. That's not what I mean. Mm -hmm. The same thing that we talked about the other week of him and that Florida kid. Mm -hmm. Like he's on an 18-year-old kid named Dave's single. Dave just started rapping six months ago. Mm -hmm. He's on that song. The year before it was another artist new mm -hmm. of that ilk. Dumb listeners, this is not really a Drake conversation. I only noticed it because... It was incredible to me that we never heard any of that shit over here. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, my brain got to wondering, because it's an amazing idea. It's great. It's just smart. Mm -hmm. It's just smart mm -hmm. to do. More people should do it if you have that star power. Mm -hmm. Then I thought, well, how many other places is he doing this in? Mm -hmm. Well, not him, but Apple or whoever. It's playing seeds, man. Mm -hmm. I know. Which then got me to thinking, just my brain. And I can, I, my brain is a nuts, wild, off place, so I'll admit. But I'm just going to give you all my train of thought. That then got me to thinking, how many other places is this happening in? That then got me to thinking, how long Drake's career will go from starting now? And when I answered that, I then thought, maybe Apple is using Drake to segue to what's next. Me personally, I do think Drake's benefited from some of the features in the UK on getting the UK on his side, but I think he won the fans over more recently when he brought back Top Boy. It's probably the most missed UK series and it wasn't getting finished, there was no budget behind it to carry it on and he brought it back. Another thing is Drake's got a huge amount of star power. He's known all over the world, so some things he don't even need to do in the UK, like show rappers love on Instagram with random posts, shout out a song and stuff. So he does actually care, I think, genuinely for the UK. But what's you guys' thoughts? Comment below. Let's try and get this video to 1,000 likes. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you press that subscribe button and the notification bell to get updated on when I make.
new videos. I see you guys in my next one. Peace out.